Hey guys, so um, we do or we just make all the videos uh, special uh, question and answer videos in English and also in German. So I think that's at the end of the day it's it's nicer for the guys in English and it's better for the guys in Germany. So um, and for us it's also more easy because we just have one language which we choose and um, then it's pretty easy. And I guess my tongue will not broke or break in, in that video. So yeah, cheers to that guy. <laughs> Um, yeah, and these questions are just YouTube questions. If you if you uh, post a question on Instagram, um, they will not uh, appear in here. Why? Because it's too difficult to. Um, do they do they post underneath from underneath pictures? They they post underneath underneath pictures and in direct messages, but I redirect them. Uh, to us, to, to, yeah, there was to a cool you. guy from Japan where I just talked yeah. about. Um, probably when you are asking, um, yeah, the easiest way is just drop the your your question on these the, the English videos, and then we just yeah. follow them up. Yeah. So that, that's pretty. I think the it's the best way to find yeah. them. Um, John Wang asks, uh, what are all the dots for the, to monitor temperature? No, these are for the 3D scanning process. So um, the scanner just sees all the points, and you get the idea of the body and of the of the surface, so that the program can do the 3D model out of the scanning, and then you can go for it and do the CAD or CAD modifications, and can engineer whatever you want to engineer inside of this space. So that's yeah, the, basically, the, yeah. these are reference points. Yeah, just just reference points to get the, the picture or the body of the part you're scanning. Um, Andrew Penteliev oh. uh, 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 says, cannot wait when we can mount the ITBs. Thanks for the update, great work. Uh, thank you, thank Andrew. You, Andrew. <laughs> uh, he was you're like one guy who was really fucked up by the German police, I really would say. So, <laughs> yes. just to tell you the truth, like, I would probably make for that the own video because this was. They did. The case uh, was very special and very hard and not fair. It was. No, it was not fair at all. It was like. He was doing all the best what he can do to solve the problem, and the police guys were there, okay. Uh, yeah, we. we, we, we you're not allowed to drive further, but okay, this is the different story. story yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, but he has a great car. Yeah, and I think it will be a cool build, but uh, actually we're just starting to get the project rolling to get it in a standard MX-5 ND. Um, and this will be also a really cool project, so, or end product. So, um, uh, and I think we are the first ones which are that far now uh, with ITBs on the ND. I know there is an English guy, like I mentioned, but um, I think um, we do it at the end of the day different to make it more um, usable for also for streetcar. Uh, will the new air intake also be uh, compatible with the ITBs? For sure, for sure. The way we do it now um, will be for sure uh, usable in the ITB setup. Yeah. Okay, uh, Grinhel asks, um, is this just 2 liter or for the 1.5 engine uh, also, uh, or will it fit both? Uh, by the way, native speaker, uh, native speaker, well done, very well done, sir. Oh, God, God. <laughs> um, I, I think Adam is, is native speaker. Yes, for yeah. sure, because he's from yeah. Great Britain. Yeah. Um, and He's not. <laughs> is the intake just for the two liter or one point four? No, five just four. Um, actually, the way we do it now, it will be usable for one point five and two liter. I think the air boxes are pretty similar. Um, and now that actually the diameter of the air box is different on the one point five and the two liter, but we will not make the whole air box now new. We will just give it more cold air with kind of a ducting which goes up to the OEM airbox, so we can connect to the 1.5 and to the 2 liter, and we will have kind of a heat shield, which uh, reduces heat to the OEM airbox. Okay. Um, to the 2.5 liter and C, um, Mark Zavanda asks, uh, I'd like to know what it costs to get a 2.5 and C with ITB up to 280 horsepower. Sounds like a perfect amount of power for an NC. Um, 
I cannot tell you it right off the shelf. I can tell you uh, how much a 2.5 liter without and does he want to have dry sump or wet sump? He, he, he has not say, mentioned. You want to have two hundred. Okay, you want two hundred eighty horsepower, and um, I think the dry sump gives that setup about fifteen to twenty horses at the top of the ref. So um, I'm not confident that that we will do with the normal cam setup two eighty, but we can do two seventy, I guess, uh, with with some matching on the hat and some some more work, but. Um, for sure, uh, we can make you a pricing, and then it depends on if you want to have a pricing uh, for a shipped engine with the ITB and ECU or fit it. But this is something you can ask us in the email, that's probably pretty easy. Yeah, there we can prepare a special quote. For the other idea, I would um, recommend to have a look in our online shop because there we are um, offering these performance packages and also performance parts packages and there's also a 2.5 liter Duratec swap to find with our like um, power step that we want to sell to our customers with um, German TUV uh, re re registration. So um, there you can get an idea of the price. For sure, if you want to go further with the power, then it gets more expensive, but um, there you can ask for a special quote. This is no problem. Uh, Swift94 uh, says, good decision to focus more on a broader audience with the English content. As a German follower, I have no problem at all following you, Jan, since you speak very clear and not too fast. Thank you for that. So, um, yeah, I think um, I speak more slowly uh, in English than in German. <laughs> for, for sure. sure. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, it's like, for, like I mentioned, for us, it's when, when it comes to, to some certain videos, we will do both languages, but uh, then we just want to try to keep it up in English. Yeah. I think it was more or less a matter of time that we had to start with English videos in a, in a bigger way than before, because the, the customers from other countries are like rising up. And um, just to give an idea, it's, it's a quarter, quarter of our sales are not anymore in Germany. Yeah. Oh. And so 25% so yeah. just goes out to Italy, Sweden, a lot of Scandinavian Yeah, yeah. Countries. Questions yeah. for quotes, for support are getting more and more from other countries. So <coughs> for sure doing videos in English is a good way to, to go on there. Yeah. And to grow the community yeah. over there and also get people over there racing with the MX-5 turbos and all that stuff to uh, to give them confidential that that MX-5 with the turbo is absolutely without any problems usable on track because yeah, reliable yeah. and reliable. So this is this is all the time. Uh, if you read in forums and also in Facebook, it's all the time the same. The people saying, yeah, you can use an MX-5 on track, but when you turbo it, it will be get like whoa, too many problems. And I I really cannot agree that Not they are. Helpful. I would say there are some minor things which you have to check, but we did the the, the build up properly and you, you check for everything. You just can use it because we have customers who just use it on street and sometimes they just come on track and use it and just go backwards. The car drives always, it's no, yeah. no failure, nothing. Yeah. Uh, Sven R says, looking forward to the 727 project, looks rad. Oh, really cool. The next, the, the next week the engineer will be here, so um, nice. I think that we'll, you will do some um, further movements on the body and also in the inside of the car and uh, yeah I think we will do a video and uh, for sure in Workshop Wednesday we will see first results. Yeah, I think that's it for now with the English questions. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, just to give you some idea what we will also do, we, we talked about that in the question and answer video yesterday. Um, what, will, what will come up um, in 2022 here in our company. So first of all, we do a lot of TOE uh, investigations. So this will be also pretty interesting because we sold quite a lot of stuff to Scandinavian. And yeah, and they are very interested. I also get questions or, or support um, mails uh, whether the stuff we sell has a TOE re registration or papers because they need it and we get it more and more done for many projects, for new projects and um, so there's a big interest in the community about that. So um, I'm, I'm for sure that all that people down there, uh, they can check and they uh, can also um, be yeah, they 
uh, yeah, have, a, have a big plus from the TOE situation yeah. over here so they just can use the parts because all the stuff that we're doing now is completely registered so which means when you just build up a turbo and I know the, the, the Norwegian or Norwegian because they are not in, in uh, European government but um, Sweden, uh, Sweden, Sweden is a good, is a good uh, example I know how the TOE situation is over there so and um, this will change quite a lot in the next uh, weeks so uh, or not in the next weeks it changed already over there so they also need that overall product with TOE so and this is something that we can provide now with the ITBs and um, and the turbo builds so this will be pretty cool and also the 2.5 builds with our parts you can also get a TOE because we do TOE for that builds so um, at the end of the day I think uh, we are pretty confident that we're doing that the right way um, on the other hand um, I'm also sure that these countries over there we probably visit them once because I want to go one time to Gatabel and probably when, when the community is crowded over there also um, we see some guys over there uh, but back to the main theme what we're doing in 2022 so we have the TOE situation and but we also will invest in a lot of project featuring and focusing uh, videos so which means at the back of the time it was like okay Jan or Guido sitting there 20 minutes and we're just talking which is a pretty easy video for us and um, easy probably for you to watch but it's it's not like you're sitting there say hey this is a this is a plus for me to watch that video so um, our idea is basically to you see a project you see how we build the project you see problems which we have in the project you see how we solve the problems you see what we investigate how we tune how we make the TUE all that stuff will be shown in videos um, we will do some interesting parts that we say we we do a lot of, of weight uh, measurements on MX5s like say 1.6 1.8 3 liter, 2.5 liter V6, um, the ND, the NA with the V8, so all that stuff will be uh, will be checked and we, we show people how we build that cars and how we make that, so that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, so uh, we want to, to give their longer, uh, a, a longer part of a few to a build which we are doing. Uh, yeah, so, and there will be another cool thing which is probably also interesting for the English content. Uh, we are looking for, let's say, like a project which we are just building up for YouTube. Um, everybody knows that we are pretty familiar with Mazda, so we would not invest into a different brand. So they came up the idea to say, okay, let's buy, buy a Volkswagen Golf or whatever. Well, we would not do that because there are too many videos out there. So uh, we want to build up a Mazda for a certain purpose purpose uh, let's say uh, we use a master 2 or we use a, a master 3 to 3 or um, um, we're also interested or a master rx8 so this world cars because I want to have a car which is just basically something around maximum 5,000 euro and you invest a certain amount of money and then you get that lead time or you you can do this competition or whatever so probably you have some ideas and you just drop it in the comments below say this is an idea for a car which you would use um, and then we just go further and say okay we because then we would make a complete video series uh, searching car buying the car getting the car to us which is probably pretty funny for some of you out <laughs> there because uh, like you and yeah, the English guys that I mentioned before, but most time we buy the cheapest car in the web, so which means they just have problems. So um, big and, problems. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We just get them over here. We disassemble them, or we we check them, and then we go from this point. So I think I'm pretty confident that it will be a cool YouTube video series. And yeah, if you have some ideas what we should use and which purpose we should go. Um, just drop it in the comments. So, thank you for watching the English content and uh, see you in the next videos. Bye.